I'm just gonna say it. Failing only counts as failing if you give up afterwards. Becoming an actuary is really tough. It's probably one of the biggest accomplishments you'll have in your entire life if you follow through with it. It's something that pushes you beyond what you may have thought you were capable of. And the reason for that is the actuarial exams. These exams are really difficult. They're some of the hardest math exams out there. And by the time you're a fully qualified actuary, you will have passed tons of them, but you'll also probably have failed tons of them. I'm here today to tell you that that's okay. Failing is totally fine. It's just part of the journey. I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we have help future actuaries become top candidates and get their very first actuarial dream job without an internship. Now, right now, you might be in one of these two boats. Either you've been watching lots of my actuarial videos on this YouTube channel, taking in all the information, but never really taking action because the fear of failure is keeping you stuck and holding you back from moving forward. Or maybe you have recently failed an actuarial exam and now you're contemplating whether this indicates that you are not going to be successful as an actuary. I completely understand both of these concerns. No one wants to fail and the perception of failing is often fairly negative. I actually remember wanting to hide the fact that I was taking actuarial exams because I was too afraid to tell people. I didn't want to tell people if I failed. But the person I was back then is totally different than the person I am now. Now failing isn't an option and I hope that you can see it this way too. Because I have redefined what failing means to me. Failing doesn't mean that you've got to pack up your bags, give up, and accept that you are just not going to make it. Failing just means that you've got to do something different. It means that you're not quite at the level that you need to be just yet. But our interpretation of that is often much worse. It's much more definite. Usually we think, oh, I failed, I'm doomed. And that's simply not the case. About six months ago, I did a study of 100 entry-level actuarial jobs just to see what actuarial employers were really looking for in great candidates. If you wanna know the results of that study, make sure you go watch this video next because I explain exactly what I found during this study. But while I was doing that study, my main goal was to look at the trends, really understand what different employers wanted, and that would help me be able to share with you and our Actuary Accelerator community members what they really need to be doing and focusing their time on in order to become great candidates. But when I was looking through those job descriptions, 100 job descriptions in not one of them did I ever see that they were looking for a candidate that had never failed an actuarial exam. Not one of them stated that. So that right there is proof that employers don't really care whether you failed an exam or not. What they care about is that you've passed them, which is inevitably in your future if you don't give up. So if you've been scared to fail an exam and that has been holding you back from pursuing the actuarial career, or if you have recently failed an exam and you're worried that might decrease your chances of getting an actuarial job? Well, here's the truth. It will not affect your chances of getting a job. And as long as you don't give up, don't give up on your dreams and your goals of becoming an actuary, then you are bound to succeed eventually. I think that's really important to emphasize. Your success is inevitable if you don't give up. You are bound to succeed if you don't give up. I know the type of people that become actuaries. The Actuary Accelerator community is full of them. They are ambitious. They're smart. They are determined. They love to prove people wrong when they say that they can't do something. They'll accomplish anything they put their mind to. So if that's you, then you know that this is the path you want to take and that is going to happen. You are going to become an actuary. In fact, if you've watched this channel for a while now, you already know that I failed many of my actuarial exams. On my very first exam, I failed it twice, but I was dead set on becoming an actuary, so I did not give up. I ended up passing it on the third attempt and then and passed my two subsequent exams right one after another. But to my surprise, I was never asked about whether or not I had failed any exams during interviews. It never came up as a concern for the companies that I was working for or interviewing with. Failing actuarial exams is just
just something that happens. Actuaries that have gone through this process themselves, they know that. But imagine if I had let failure on the first time or the second time stop me from pursuing my goals. I don't even know where I'd be now. Imagine if all those Olympians that we watched a month ago, imagine if they let a fall on the ice. Imagine if they let a goal. Imagine if they let a missed jump or an injury hold them back from continuing to go after their goals to be an Olympian. If they had, they wouldn't have been able to accomplish the amazing things that they were able to accomplish in the Olympics in February. Honestly, pushing past failure is one of the things that is required for any great thing. It's required for things that are hard and becoming an actuary is difficult. It's very difficult. If it was easy, everyone would do it. It wouldn't be recognized as a big accomplishment. You wouldn't get paid the same salary. These are the things that you are getting paid for. These are the things that make the actuarial journey so highly respected. So I hope that even though failing isn't fun, even though it means that you're going to have to try again, even though it means that you're you're not quite at the level that you need to be yet, I hope you won't let that stop you from going after your goals and achieving your full potential. Because if you really want all the benefits that the actuarial career provides, then the personal growth and the perspective that you are going to gain on this journey to becoming an actuary is something that you'll be able to take with you forever and you will be totally thankful for. Now, chances are if you have been watching this video and failing has been a big concern for you or a fear for you, maybe something that's holding you back, it's possible that maybe you are taking advice from the wrong people. So right now, go watch this video right here to make sure that you are not being influenced by the thoughts and opinions of the wrong people. That's all for today. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.